Welcome to Scanning TV or YouTube once again. Latest and latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, Ghana under 17, and some other latest updates we need to know on this channel today. Exactly 4 p.m. That is the latest time communicated to us at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. It is going to be Ghana under 17 versus Nigeria under 17, and it is going to be very interesting. Well, ahead of the game, we have coach Lai Kinsin who has released a statement today after resigning as the head coach. And I tell you guys, he might be on the touchline today. Well, we will check out his statement into details and everything on this channel. We also talk about the Black Star squad. According to some reports I'm getting today, the squad will be released. I don't know when this video will be published on this channel. Maybe by the time I upload it, the squad will be out because right now on Ghana squad, I don't know how they are doing it. They are just keeping everything secret. Well, we will talk about it and also look at... Andre, are you? Is he going to make the squad? Because I have seen the post. That is why I'm asking that question. I will talk about that as well. In this update, we also look a little bit on Inyaki Williams, on Ghana and Black Challenge team, and some other latest updates. So, yes, let's delve into the details. Before then, if you have joined us, take your time and like the video for me. After liking, if you are new, subscribe to this channel. Put us on post notifications so that I'll drop a latest update. You'll be the first person to get and also enjoy. Also try and give some shout out to those who commented under the last video. I'll not do all. I'll do the first part here and I'll bring you more in the subsequent update. If you join us after watching, share the link for others. Also come here and enjoy after leaving your comments in the comment box. Now, quickly, no time to waste. You know how it do it. Let's begin from here. Let me talk about today's game because I don't know when you'll be watching it. But if you have time, Please make it to the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. Today, you are going to enjoy the third place in the final itself. Ghana versus Nigeria is going to be the third place match exactly 4 p.m. at University of Ghana Sports Stadium. And after that, we will have um, Burkina Faso who also lock horns with Ivory Coast for the finals itself. So, Ghana, if you're able to at least finish third today, we can qualify for the Africa Cup of Nations. I've brought you the details or the reason why I'm saying this in the video I uploaded last two days. So, you can go on this channel and check the video titled How Ghana Under 17 Can Still Qualify for the Next AFCON for all those details on in that particular video. So, ahead of the game, um, you know, a lot of things have actually gone on. After Ghana lost two goals to one against Burkina Faso, we saw Lai Kinsin who came out right after the match and he said that he has resigned as the head coach for the team. But he didn't say that he was leaving that day. In fact, I said it in one of my uploads that the GFA's response indicated that, I don't know, because they just said they are now appointing the assistant coaches and the technical team of the FA to take over. Meanwhile, the coach didn't say that he was leaving that day. Per what he was saying, it meant that after the tournament, that's when he was leaving. But he only announced his resignation after that game against Burkina Faso, which I think it wasn't appropriate. Well, the coach has released a statement. So let me take some time and read this statement, please. Let's actually check it out because he said a lot in this particular statement from Likensen to all Ghanaians and the Ghana Football Association. Press released 28 May 2024, calling for calm and progress following announcement of resignation as coach of Ghana Under-17, the Black Starlets. My attention has been drawn to conversation and counter-argument in favor and against last Saturday, 25th May, announcement that I would leave my role as coach of Ghana's under-17, the Black Starlets, after disappointing Wafu tournament in Accra. My position was clear then and remains that, having failed to reach the final of the tournament, which serves as an automatic qualification to the CAF Under-17 African Championship and a route to FIFA World Cup, I believe we fell short of our objectives. And as the leader of the team, I take full responsibility and sincerely apologize for letting down everyone who has been negatively impacted by this. I have been overwhelmed by the support, prayer, and war wishes um, this current Ghana Under-17 team has generated in the media and the public discourse. I realized that the reasons for the um, immense support have largely been because of the work um, that the technical team, which I am privileged to lead um, the past few months, our playing style, and the commitment of the players to change the narrative about the Ghana's under-17 team's um, recent history. I apologize unreservedly for our failure to pay back the trust love and support we have graciously received from Ghanaians. We worked very hard for the several weeks 
for the um, chance to reach the final of the waffle tournament to complete uh, um, to compete for the ultimate prize but it was not to be concerning any other issue about my personal conduct with suggesting that i abandoned the team following the saturday semi-final defeat to burkina faso i state unmistakably that my announcement during the post-match press conference was without ambiguity that my role as coach with the team ends after the tournament i will not conduct myself if um, in any way that undermines the respect and support Ghanaians have given me and this team to the president and the esco i also want to unreservedly and sincerely apologize for any misunderstanding inconvenience and embarrassment my decision to announce resignation last saturday caused after careful consideration i could have handled things better and um, will be guiding experience from me going forward i love my nation i served my nation as a player and i've been serving my nation as a coach i cherish the opportunity given me by gfa and support the Ghanaians from all walks of life my technical teammates and the talented players that i worked with we look forward to finishing the tournament in the strongest way by beating our rivals nigeria to win bronze thank you signed like in accra ghana copied to all media houses so i've also gotten one and i'm sharing with you yes it might be somehow boring or lengthy but i think he said a lot in there now per what he said i broke them down into um five different parts one he apologized to Ghanaians over the team's results in this particular tournament he also admitted that he should have handled his resignation better than how he did it that is resigning on the last on the game against um you know burkina faso then three he also apologized to the gfa leadership for that decision that he took then four he also won the team to finish strongly in this particular um you know waffle tournament after they beat nigeria to play second and get opportunity to qualify for the next afcon then last one he also emphasized that yes he's a proud Ghanaian who is looking forward to continue to work for ghana and do his possible best for the nation so this is a breakdown of what like kinsey actually um released today and i'm sharing with you on this channel now no time to waste. Let me move on and bring you some more updates in this one. Yes, let me talk about Inyaki Williams a little bit. Inyaki Williams, according to reports that I'm actually getting, the player wanted to come and play for Ghana Blasters. That is why he has to abandon the last game for Athletic Bobao and go for that surgery so that he will recover as soon as possible and come and represent Ghana Blasters. So right now, the decision is if the player is passed by the medical team that, hey, you are fit to go and play, we will see his name in the final squad that's going to be released by coach Otto Addo. And that is the little thing that I have on Inyaki Williams. So he has to actually sacrifice the last game quickly as they noticed that, yes, he was getting some pains under his foot to go and do the surgery so that he can make the blast star squad. So if the doctors pass Inyaki Williams that he's fit and he can play for Ghana, he will actually make the squad that's yet to be announced today. According to Sani Dara, he says that the squad is going to be announced today. So we are all waiting for the squad to be announced. And that is it also in there. A quick one. Stoneboy has also congratulated Ghana's, um, you know, um, amputee team. Yes, today he posted congratulations. Champions, hashtag black challenge, um, no challenger. That is what he posted. You know, Ghana um, um, challenge team, that is the Amputi. They won the just ended um, Amputi Africa Cup of Nations in Egypt after they defeated Morocco by some two goals to one. Ghana won it two years ago in Tanzania and now we have defended our trophy. And that is a good one for the Ghana Black Challenge. And Stoneboy has also congratulated them, which is a right thing to do. Now, a little bit on Andre Ayu. Yes, today I saw Andre Ayu's clubs, Le Havre. They posted players who are going on international break and with this particular one they posted six players six players who are going on international break i'll be showing them on your screens and out of these six players i didn't see andre Ayu as part of them and i was asking is are you part of the blast star squad because usually clubs will post their players who are going on international break regardless of their nations releasing their squad or not they will just post all of them and congratulate them on getting collapsed but this time around they posted congratulations to our six um seal and marine um for their selections and they actually released beautiful graphics for them um having two ivorians in there and um, some other countries they are all in there going to play for their countries but i didn't see andre ayu so my question is 
Is he part of their squad? Because we've heard reports from Ray Kwampofo, from Gary Asmet, who posted yesterday night that we should expect a big name already in the Black Stars team not to be called this time around. So we are all waiting to see how things will pan out. But my question is, as he was not part of the players announced by Le Havre for getting called up, does it mean that Andreu is part out of it or he's part? But maybe they were only waiting for the national team to announce their squad. Then they can officially congratulate him. Well, we have to just wait and see. As I said, I don't know when this video will drop. So if the squad comes out before this video will drop, then this particular part I'm saying is going to be either true or untrue. But if it is here to be dropped, then we have to wait and see how things will pan out on the Blast squad. The Blast squad, personally, I don't know why it is, it is delaying that much. I don't know. Because we are opening camp on this Thursday at University of Ghana Sports Stadium and Tony. Now, we don't know the teams or the players who have been called. Well, it is really interesting. Now, a little bit on Ibrahim Osman. Yes, he has also won the Talent of the Year at FC Nordland. You know, the player is living to join Brighton. And for the last season, 2023-2024, Ibrahim Osman won the Talent of the Year. And he posted a beautiful um, picture of that particular award given to him on his Instagram page. And I'm also sharing with you on this channel. So that is also a quick one for you on this cha um, channel. Now, finally, let's talk a little bit, yes, about former Ghanaian player. His name is Rafael Jamena. His club that he used to play for, in fact, may he so rest in peace. Yes, the player passed away. Um, that is talking of this particular season when he was playing for um, FK Ignatia. And now his side, they have actually won the league in Albania. This is the first time they are winning the league. The player, he scored 12 goals in 13 matches that he played for FK Ignatia. So after winning the league, then they actually pay tribute to the player by bringing um, his um, JC and this some other stuff for the player. Even though he was not there, but he helped them to win this particular league. So they have to also honor him. So may he still rest in peace for helping um, you know, his side, Ignatia, to leave the trophy first time in their career or um, in history for his side, FK Ignatia, in Albania. And that is it. So guys, these are some of the few updates that I wanted to share with you. I'll be following and now we are all waiting for the squad to be announced. So just stick and stay with me today. We'll be doing back to back. So some of the videos you will not get on the station. But please, when you are there, just come and check on the channel if we have any other updates that you also watch it and support us on that front. Now, let me give some shout outs. Yes. Shout out going out to I don't care. I don't care is here. Thank you. I don't care. This time you cared. Kwame, um, yes, Edu Jenfi watching me from the States. I appreciate you, boss. Thank you for um commenting. Stanley GH is here. David Akompala is also on this channel. Apia Nyako Eric, you are also here. Thank you. Um Chris Up, you are also here. Chris Up, thank you. Apia Nyako Eric is here. Okay, Juliana and Sai is on this channel. Then I have Kingsley Parker. Okay, Kingsley Parker. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, Prince and Hiala is also on this channel. Truth Them Vibes Kid. Wow. Nice name. Truth Them Vibes Kid. Thank you for being here. Babo Jackie is also on this channel. I appreciate you. Princess um, Princess Heart. Okay, thank you. Um, then I have King Dresser also on this channel. Apeku Abednego is here. Thank you. Courage Fekpe, you are here. Mr. Vordy is also here. Alassan Abrant here. You also on this channel. Swansea of Fair and is here. Akro Imando, I appreciate you. God Peace, you also here. Real Lassie TV, I appreciate you. Then I have, um, let me move on. Amora Jonas is also on this channel. Crazy Sap, thank you. Jude, Jude, thank you for being here. I appreciate you, Jude. Um, Aqua Boy is also on this channel. Enoch Mensah is here. Bame Solomon in Transipi is here. Peter Ahen is also on this channel. Then I have um, Courage Fekwe, I think I've mentioned already. Ima, you are also here. Muntaka Wakasu, thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, then there are many, there are many here. So I'll bring you more shout outs. I don't want to actually um, waste a lot of time on this particular update because I don't even know when the squad will drop. But I'll be bringing you more on this channel. So just stick and stay with me. I was actually looking for one particular comment, but I don't know. I'm not getting it. I'm not. Okay, yes. Grim King. Grim King, J R I M M King. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you because I've never given him shout out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to always like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.